So I want to actually give a shout out to some of my current students whom I see here in the audience. This could be you. <laughs> right? And we hope, even if this is not the path that you choose, we hope that your education here at a public university in Massachusetts, and to any students who are here who are not, not necessarily my, you're all my students, right? <laughs> um, everyone here. But, you know, that, that there, you can take what you learn at UMass Dartmouth and use it to help make change in the world. And that is really a strong part of what a lot of us um, here who are educators uh, are trying to do. Jen is another great example of that. Um, so as we were talking about coalition and alliance, I'm very happy to uh, introduce Andre Simois, who is from the Brazilian Workers' Center. CCT and the Brazilian Workers' Center have been involved in many um, campaigns together, and they have done some really amazing work with another uh, immigrant population. And I think it's really important to think about how we can be specific without building a silo that excludes other people. And sometimes we need to work with a particular community because of language, because of many issues that people, but that doesn't mean that we don't then move outside the Brazilian community, the Brazilian immigrant community, to work with others. In and the Brazilian Workers' Center has really been one of the leaders um, in Massachusetts, very involved in the driver's license campaign, um, as well as some other issues that have tremendous impact really throughout the immigrant and working class populations. Andre. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, I try to speak loud and first of all, uh, apologize for my English. It's not my first language, it's not my second language as well. <laughs> and sometimes I forgot words, and but I try to do my best here. Minita is not able to join this panel. She traveled to Brazil to visit her family and she sent me to represent Brazilian Work Center. We are a grassroots organization uh, since 1995. We are funded by Brazilian workers here in Massachusetts and Boston who don't have nobody to protect them, to support them in many struggles they have in this time. And they decide to fund Brazilian Workers Center. That's an organization I'm work for now just for two years. But uh, I have been involved with Brazilian Workers Center since 2019 when I visit my brother who lives here. My mother lived here uh, 10 years ago. She was undocumented, the mask worker, and she struggled a lot in Massachusetts uh, in Great Boston area to provide for my family a uh, good opportunity. And because that, uh, I get a good university in Brazil. I studied in the University of Sao Paulo. That's the best university in Brazil and a public university. We don't need to pay nothing to study in a public <laughs> university in Brazil. That's a good news. And <laughs> that's a really, really good university I study. I social science bachelor and I did a specialization in education field. And now I'm doing my master degree in social science. And that's a kind of combination I'm doing here. Uh, Adrian mentioned that it's important we understand the, the culture, the gap of this culture, the lack of the understanding. Uh, most of Brazilians don't realize themselves they have rights here, as all of you have rights. they really afraid to ask for rights. And the Brazilian Work Center was working in main, a lot of campaigns in 2010, Natalisa Tracy, uh, our former executive director, uh, she worked. She working in Washington now. She, in, she when she turned the direct, executive director at Brazilian Work Center, she involved Brazilian Work Center in the domestic work bill of rights campaign. That's a large coalition. Uh, she worked a lot in this campaign in the two, uh, 2014. They passed this bill and they be effect in 2015. That's a huge. Uh, that's a huge step for the immigrant community, because most of women still working in the domestic work, 
uh, area. And last year we conduced Natalie Lenita and me, we together with the Boston College Law uh, School, we try to understand how this law is implemented, how how this law can be affect since 2014 to now, and we see a lot of lags, gaps, and misunderstands about the law. We send a report for the agents' offices, and the agents change a lot of things to enforce this law. Now that's uh, so important. We uh, advocate for this community, and we follow this law. We we need to know if it is a fact, is the community is impacted by this law. Uh, because we know as a graduate community organization, we saw a lot of people uh, came to our office and, and talk with us. No, they never pay me over time. They never pay me correct. Mm -hmm. I just received like uh, $10 per hour. That kind of thing happens all days. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's our first step. And last year, uh, Lenita, uh, as, be a, a executive director, Lenita Reason, and lead this campaign. And Adra mentioned before the drive license campaign, and we pass not one time but four times. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, we pass, and the government baker vetting, and we pass again, and the proposition turn on this in the ballot and we pass again that all the time you pass again we try to organize people collect money do a campaign and pass and educate people not just the immigrants community because we know how important it is have a drive license to drive safely to drive family to go to the shop in the medical whatever but sometimes united states don't know about the immigration need to drive it to work for you and we need to educate all these people. And it's not stopped here. Uh, this year, we involved in three more campaigns in this big coalition. Uh, the drive license involved over 250 organizations. And we try to, to improve the laws, the rights we have. We, we, we believe we need to, to improve here. And the three more campaigns and coalition we be involved is a wave tough bill of rights with the AFC AFL CIO and we involved in the injury work bill of rights mm -hmm. and the, another campaign we involved a lot of worker sentence and GBLS as well uh, and we passed this year the tuition equity that means all this immigration regardless the stats can apply for the states uh, university, like this university, and not pay over than they need to pay. Mm -hmm. uh, almost three times more mm -hmm. they mm -hmm. was to pay for this study. The same course, the same everything that you do here. And that's so important. It's really important for me because when we think about uh, how we build coalition, we think about education, we think about advocacy, and we think about building community. And Adrian and me, we have a good relationship with our organization, CCT and Brazilian World Center, have a good partnership, but we have the same partnership with a lot of worker centers mm -hmm. or community organizations around the Boston, around the Massachusetts. And for us, it's so important work together to improve these laws, to improve, to educate our community, not just Brazilian, but Latinos, uh, I receive a lot of Latinos I, and, and help them to, to understand they have rights. Uh, we, we developed some methodology like uh, we have a building just committee at the partnership with just at work and Brazil Work Center and workers. We have a lot of workers join us and try to convoke another work try to say for other workers, don't, don't hide yourself. Put yourself, raise your voice. It's important. I don't know if you realize that uh, Brazilian community is, the official number for the Brazilian consulate is 400,000 people in Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. That's the official number. 
but all of us make when I talk with people, I know one Brazilian, I know another Brazilian, someone clean my home, someone cook for me. But it's a huge community. We need to aware this community, we need to say, show up, put your face, asking for a right. Uh, well, I have a colleague, she's told me all the time, rice is something we found at the street, on the street. We need to ask for a right. Nobody knock your door and say, oh, this is your right. Mm -hmm. You know that? And I think this Brazilian community is still shame, is still afraid, but we are here, not just us, but we have a lot of people and other organizations work together to build a just work. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Obrigada. Obrigada. Thank you.